hello everyone welcome and welcome back i'm so excited to share what a whole day with a newborn looks like with you all so relax and enjoy it i encourage you to watch this video to the end because i have important information that i want to share with all new moms and moms to be it's not just information it's lesson something you need to know to prepare your mind in order to navigate the newborn stage without feeling too stressed and overwhelmed because overwhelm and stress is one of the leading cause of postpartum depression and i don't want you to get to that stage so please watch this video till the end you know that thing about every child being different well it truly really occurred to me with this baby because with my first two girls bad time was a please but you see this baby he doesn't like water touching his body even wet wipes he does not like it at all once it comes to bad time the whole neighborhood will know something is going on well i finished dressing him up and then gave him to his dad and decided to freshen up one thing i always do these days is to give myself a nice warm shower every morning it helps me set the tone for the day and i just feel more confident which is one of the things us new moms need so at this point i was going to drop my husband at the train station so come along with me There goes the little velcro. <laughs> well, if I want to get anything done in life in the morning with this baby, I always put him on my back until he falls asleep. I feel so dehydrated. Breastfeeding makes me super dehydrated. So, water is one of the things that increases um, breast milk flow. So, I've not had water since last night. You guys, I need to get myself a cup. And honestly, I used to be one of those that said, Oh, I don't want a Stanley cup. Of course I do. Right now, I do want a Stanley cup. I feel like if I have a cup, I'll be able to drink more water. Because now, if I want to drink water, I always have to come downstairs. And I fed this baby around 6 a.m. when we woke up. So, immediately he woke up, I just stuck my breast into his mouth because I didn't want him to start crying then he fed so well and he still continued to cry so i decided to just begin um this uh 24 hours video only for me to see that he had a he had a blowout so right now i want to make his sister's hair i bought this my tripod is upstairs but i'll show you anyway I bought this. I want to soften their hair because, oh my god, I'll show you. The hair is so hard. So, yeah, let's go. Apart from looking tidy, another thing that sets my head straight and makes me feel good about my day is laying my bed, you guys. I always lay my bed every morning. I would even say if you catch my bed not laid, I'm probably sick or depressed, which by God's grace I will never be. But yeah, I always leave my bed because it makes me feel so good. Obviously, this is not for new new moms. If you are anywhere below three weeks postpartum, please don't try to lay your bed. Get help. Let someone at home do it for you. That is what you need to be pampered at this point. Don't go playing the superwoman, okay? Look, you all, this baby has been a good boy. He's just sleeping. See? And look at my daughter's hair. See? Now it's threatened. 
I just love it. I'm going to let you in on a little something. But before then, you know they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. <laughs> you will not really understand what that means until you're exclusively breastfeeding. Because especially if you're breastfeeding a boy, you literally wake up feeling so dizzy because this boy will eat. Well, back to what I was about to say. On the day I hit the 37 weeks pregnancy mark, I went crazy with energy. And what I did with that energy was to meal prep. You guys, I cooked over 10 different types of Nigerian soups. I stored all the soups in my freezer and it really helped me postpartum. I didn't cook any major food for over 6 weeks I postpartum. I them breakfast and one person decided to spill her tea. So I'm using my sponge to you guys i'm officially exhausted this baby has been sleeping for almost two hours i think it's time to wake him up for a feed a baby and two children is a lot of work so i'm trying to wake his cute self up look at our outfit of the day I don't think I got to show you guys. I want to breastfeed him. I want to do it while lying down because I'm very tired. So I'll use that time to rest a little bit. Oh yeah. He's so hungry. Ready? Let's get down to business. So he's going to feed for about 10 minutes because the bulbs is about to explode. So the letdown is a lot. So he'll feed really fast and he'll get full. If you're struggling with breast milk, one of the best things you can do for yourself is take water. It's not so much about what you eat or the quantity of food you eat. Because breast milk is liquid, of course it's very important that you have a balanced diet. Very, very, very important. Because it's what you, feed that, what you eat that you're passing on to your baby. Have a balanced diet and drink a lot of water with your food warm water to be precise so warm water will not only increase your milk flow it will also help with the healing of your belly talking about the warm water do you notice that when you're having your bath like your breast milk becomes a bit fuller it might even be, be dropping it's because of the warmth when you drink warm water warm tea anything warm in a liquid form it helps with breast milk flow along with your balanced diet and the thing about when you're breastfeeding you're eating for two is a myth don't go eating large quantity of food so let me show you some burping techniques i'm actually going to make an entire video on that so let me just show you one if you finish feeding your baby see <laughs> you already burped so if you finish feeding your baby and you're struggling to burp him or you don't want to struggle to burp him put the baby on your shoulder like this with the belly up against your shoulder if there's any gas trapped in the baby's belly you will feel it this way then you take your finger rub it on the spine the baby will belch and possibly poop all you need to do is ensure that the baby's belly is on your shoulder then you rub upward rub upward like this the baby is not only going to burn he might also fat if there is any gas trapped on the lower part of his belly if you wiggle his waist like this as well it will help you get any fat or if you can do it like this but i always hold him like this because this baby is very strong he likes to struggle i don't want him to fall over but when i hold him like this i know i got him so 
if i know there is any kind of gas trapped in him that doesn't want to come out through the mouth i do like this and then the gas will come out the one i normally do is to put him on my shoulder rub 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 tap tap rub tap tap you'll hear him fat if there is any air or gas trapped in his belly Diaper chain. After I had a bath in the morning. So I'm sure he's cranky because his diaper is so cool. You guys, see what just happened to me. My tripod broke. Thankfully, my friend ordered a new tripod for me. Oh, what will I do without that girl? So it's, I think it's going to arrive today because I have to complete this in four hours video for you. There's so much I want to share with you guys. I went for postnatal therapy class and it was so loaded. I want to tell you some of the tips and some things that just make sense that I learned. So as soon as I get the tripod, we'll continue. This is the second feed after waking up about an hour ago it's over an hour now i was telling you yesterday i went for postnatal therapy class and they gave us all of this handout even though i'm a third time mom this is my first baby in ireland i gave birth to the first two in nigeria and you guys i learned a lot some of these things I already know, but they made so much sense, especially when professionals are talking about it. The first one I'm going to share is the five S's of soothing a baby. So there are five S's to soothe a baby that is cranky. One of them is swaddling. The other one is suckling. So sucking whether on the bottles or on your nipple. The other one is swinging. The other one is shushing. And the other one is sideline. So they can lie on the sides like this or on the belly. So sideline, basically. So swaddling is relevant when the baby is sleeping at night. One of the reasons why I always like to swaddle my baby at night is once I put him down without swaddling and anything just moves, if he hears any sound, he'll go and then that will wake him up. He'll begin to cry. But with the swaddle, it helps keep his hands together. It'll keep him tight and snuggled and he'll feel like he's still in the womb. So that way he's able to sleep for two to three hours. Right now he sleeps for up to three hours in the night before he wakes up for a feed the other one is shushing so when you're carrying the baby on their sides like this in order to try to calm them down you so i'm going to talk about three you can carry the baby on the sideline which is the other one and then you swing so don't forget the five s's swinging is among you swing the baby however you want. You can do this on your birth ball if you still have it. I never used a birth ball. I didn't buy one. So if you have a birth ball, you can do this on your birth ball. You can bounce on the birth ball while you swing the baby. And you shush the baby. Just like the sound. And if you don't want to use the your mouth to shush, you use your sound machine. For those of you that have a sound machine. And you see your baby coming down. So while you're doing this, especially in the night, because babies love to be held tight. And of course, when you hold them tight, they'll be struggling. Especially for this, my son. When I try to hold him tight, he'll be struggling. But I hold him in a way that I don't hurt him. And then if I continue to swing him and hold him really tight like this, he will stop struggling and keep quiet. So yesterday, in, they explained this thing that I've already been doing. And it all made sense as to why when I hold my baby tight and swing him and shush him, he'll just go to sleep. So that thing actually exists in form of the five S's. I never knew it. So 
keep this at the back of your mind when your baby is all cranky and you're sure that the baby is fed the nappy is changed there's nothing hurting the baby go ahead and try this holding the baby tight makes them feel like they are still in the womb or it gives them the memory of being in the womb if they have memory then the shushing sound or the sound machine is actually a mimic of the sound the placenta makes to them when they are in the womb <laughs> unreal that makes so much sense moving on to something else they said so they said it is difficult for babies to sleep unassisted up to the age of one year so around zero to one they find it difficult to sleep unassisted especially during the daytime so have you noticed that when you try to keep your baby down when you put your baby down to go and run around to do some things your baby would not sleep maybe 10 minutes later when you have just begun what you want to do the baby will, will wake up but if it was in the night when it's all swaddled lights out he would sleep well this is absolutely normal you don't need to beat yourself up about this when i had just given birth to this baby between week one to like week five i would always sleep when the baby is sleeping for example right now that he's sleeping i would have been sleeping as well apart from the fact that the sleep is important for you yourself to recover for your mental health it will also help your baby sleep longer forget about everything else that you think is happening you have older kids get help if you can get the dad involved if my sister-in-law wasn't here my husband would do every other thing while i handled the baby so for me i already set my mind to the fact that once i give birth to the baby for the first one month i am handing off everything that has to do with being involved like actively with taking care of my older kids because the dad is there so all i would do is probably tell him oh this is what to do this is what to do but he know he already knows what to do because he has always been involved my own responsibility would be the baby and myself because if i pay attention to everything they do every little cry every little scream whatever they have not done right it will affect my mental health and this is this is one of the things that leads to postpartum depression i don't want to digress i want to talk about um pre preparing for when you give birth while you're pregnant but anyway let me continue what i'm saying so when you know your baby's nap time if you don't know if you're a first time mom bear it at the back of your mind that your baby loves body contact every baby loves body contact even you the older one don't you feel relaxed when you're hugging and snuggling up with your husband so babies love body contact and give it to them as much as you can this will help with bonding your milk production it will also help regulate their temperature if you can take off the baby's clothes take off yours as well and do skin to skin with this baby so when you wake up get what you're going to eat make sure you are fed and then pay all of your attention to your baby for example now that i've finished doing everything i'm doing i left my older kids upstairs with my sister-in-law because she's still here and i'm down here making this video using the opportunity to relax so if you want to next netflix and chill netflix and chill get your water get your snacks whatever if you want to be in your bedroom fine be in your bedroom but make sure everything you need is by your side and hold the baby like so until the baby falls asleep if you if you're feeling tired you just put the baby down on their back and do what you need to do but anyway i still want to snuggle up with my baby because he has been lying down alone all morning long i'm enjoying this phase so don't beat yourself up about the fact that you can't put your baby down babies are not meant to be down enjoy this phase because when they grow up <laughs> it's gone once this phase is gone it's gone but if you keep putting your mind to the fact that oh the baby has to just lie down or sit down while i get to do other things you'll be frustrated the baby will be frustrated so try to put measures in place in order to rest 
while your baby is resting if you don't want to sleep so they said all of these things which i've already been incorporating but them saying it to us yesterday brought it fresh into my mind and helped me articulate it into words for me to share with you another thing they mentioned is the fact that breastfeeding can actually cause vaginal dryness after your six weeks check and your gp gives you the go ahead to begin intercourse you might notice that your um, vagina is dry if you are breastfeeding it is absolutely normal it's nothing to worry about there are so many organic products that you can use or you go to your gp and ask for estrogen apparently only the gp can prescribe estrogen to you it helps balance the ph of the vagina and make it juicy juicy so if you're experiencing vaginal dryness as a breastfeeding mom you have nothing to worry about there is a cure for it it only lasts as long as you are breastfeeding so the solution would be for you to go to your gp look if there is if there are other things causing it but breastfeeding is the number one cause of vaginal dryness as for me i'm definitely going to um tell my gp when i go for my next appointment because i have an appointment with the gp on the 9th of august so you guys just to prove what i was saying i went to give my older children some snacks i went to give these girls some snacks and i didn't stand up to five minutes what was five minutes i would say two to three minutes already the boy is awake so babies would always want body contact you would make your life easy by preparing your mind for this preparing yourself for this and enjoy it while it lasts because these older ones they are already independent to an extent and i cannot really snuggle them and hold them tight as i do with this one if you get what i mean mm, yummy. look at this baby he's having fun in his um rocker we're about to make some cakes i just finished giving him his evening bath the weather is so warm so this is the only thing i'm putting on him tonight so i'll cream his body and we'll round this up his rocker is downstairs and i'm feeling too lazy to go downstairs so i'll leave him here for about five minutes i just need to take five to freshen up for the night because the weather is so warm and i need to feel fresh so see in five look who has been an absolute angel oh you miss mama you miss mommy he has been a good boy Alrighty, guys <laughs> it's time for me to get into bed Thank you so much for watching this 24 hours with a newborn. <laughs> He's seven weeks old now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in my next video. Don't forget to hit the like button. Share your comments, your thoughts. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. Um, I'll see you in my next video. Love you all. Bye.